Now the project we're going to do today is to show you how you can build your own poker table or games table for your kids or family and I'm doing this with a friend of mine. He has a uh, small group. They play poker just for fun and entertainment and they didn't have a proper table so he wanted to build one and we're going to show you how to do that. It's all made from simple readily available materials and uh, you just need some simple tools to make the parts and we'll show you step by step how we built this beautiful poker table. Well we're part way into our project and I thought it's a good time to show you the materials that we were using. Here if you look at the base units here we've got a set of base uh, fold up legs that you can buy at any hardware or big box store and when they're folded up they make a great uh, item that you can hang the table right on a wall in say your utility room or out of the way so it doesn't take up any space until you need it. We start with our uh, fabric here. We've got fabric and we have vinyl over on the left here that we purchased at a local fabric store. We have foam we got at a foam shop and that's our foam that goes on top of the plywood here so when you lean on it when it's completely finished and you lean on it everybody's got a nice soft edge to put their elbows on. Now we started down here if you look in between we've got a set of three-quarter uh, sorry a sheet of three-quarter inch plywood and on top of that to round out our corners and give us a little bit of lift we have another piece of plywood cut to fit and below the table we have another piece of wood doing exactly the same thing it's just giving us some volume and holding the felt in place and the vinyl itself will wrap around and cover all of this so that's about it there's not that many components to it there's a bit of sewing to do so if you've got a sewing machine you can cut your vinyl you can see on the left side here we have some shape coming around the corner so you cut your vinyl to shape you've cut your side to shape right here and then sew them on the back side as you can see right here if we go over to the right side the seam is hidden on the back side so when it's folded over you go back to the left bounce you back and forth here there's a nice uh, finished seam. We've almost completed a couple of corners here. We have our corner shape sewn in place here and we're ready to put in our foam toppers and that just lays in there and we pull the vinyl over and staple it to the back side. You can also see we've made these joint covers. We're going to have joints here in between here and also between here where we're going to add in uh, our new uh, wood on top and our foam. So we're going to need something to drop over the edge and we've just taken a piece of vinyl and made a strip sewn back so it, it'll for form a nice uh, cover over the seam. We've gone ahead now and we've filled in our outer edge and made sure that we have our vinyl all ready to go and and pinned underneath the outer edge you can see on the far side here it's pinned under ready to fold over we have our strips in place here to cover the edges we have our filler in here on the end and the uh, next step is to fold all of the materials over and tack them on the back and uh, here's a look at the uh, setup just before we fold the vinyl over Okay, we're almost finished. We just have this last piece of vinyl to flip over along with its covers for the joints to finish it off. And you can see down here how nicely the joints are covered, how professional that looks. And it makes for a very comfortable seating area. You can probably seat up to 10 people around this table. They all have a nice comfortable armrest and a large playing surface. A little touch up with the vacuum and we're ready for our first games. So there you go.
there's your project for the winter. Get yourself some materials and make yourself a nice games table for the family. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next video.